Hello and welcome to Blythe Ray Business News. Today I'm joined by Tim Livesey. Tim is Chief Executive of AIM Listed Oriel Resources. You can find them on AIM with the ticker of ORR and a market capitalization of around £3 million. Oriel is a very exciting gold explorer in the West of Africa. And today, Tim, you've just had some news on the uh, the resource, the, f- the resource statement. I'm looking at some numbers here. 300,000 ounces of gold at 2.19 grams per tonne. I think I'm being told that this is the the first gold resource ever reported in Cameroon. So if that is the case, how big a deal is this for you? Uh, it's it's enormous. Uh, it's massive. We we believe it's the first um, York inferred resource published for origin gold in Cameroon. Um, Cameroon, as you know, is is has undergone big investment into the exploration and mining sector um, with a, a big World Bank funded program to basically to open the doors to investment into into the sector. And uh, we are we we've been there now four and a half years. We've kind of been leading the charge on this. So to be able to deliver a, a joint resource has been fantastic for Cameroon, but obviously uh, absolutely fantastic for us. The, the Bibami license um, is an area we've been looking at. We we had four prospects that looked interesting, and um, we put an initial uh, round of drilling into that um, starting in March last year. So we've only been active drilling here for 21 months, and we've been able to progress one of those four up to a a very reasonable uh, maiden resource. Obviously, it's open-ended still. Um, And the other three prospects, which are within a stone's throw of of, uh, the Bacassi Zone 1 um, area that we announced this morning, make it a really interesting area to be. Um, So we're we're very happy. Uh, We're very happy for Cameroon. um, And we're we're extremely happy that we've been able to put out such a a, uh, nice grading uh, maiden resource. And you said this is a resource based on one area. There are three others to go. Let's not let's not get too excited about the closeology, but I know it's very, very tempting to say we've got three others nearby. But you've got the one, you've got the, the resource statement now. Um as you say, you were basically the, the you were the first mover in Cameroon. So what does this mean for you in Cameroon? What does it mean for your position? in Cameroon now? And does it actually start to give this message that Cameroon could be you know, a, a new gold frontier? Well, we, we, we certainly hope so. We hope that message is, is get it, going to get out into the market. Um, we have seen a little bit of activity over the last uh, couple of years. So basically, since our, our large central license package was granted um, in February last year, uh, we've seen a few, a few actors coming in um, junior companies and private companies coming and picking up ground around us, and you know, neurology um, flattery is is uh, is wonderful for for people to be coming and and sort of pegging ground around us. But <clears throat> for for Bibimi, um, we we do we do see a lot of potential at Bibimi um, because although these other you know the the other three prospects, uh, we have samples from them that are multiple grams a ton. We have uh, drill holes into all three of them, which show mineralization. We just hadn't progressed those other three as far as we progressed Bacassi Zone 1. Um, so we, we do believe there's a lot of opportunity there. And Bacassi Zone 1 is, is open at depth and a long strike. So the concept of three or four bits within two or three kilometers of each other with central processing, it, it's absolute arm waving right now, but um, it's, uh, it's certainly a there's evidence that there's it's a direction we could go. Um, as far as the rest of Cameroon, central licenses, what we're exploring at Bibami is a, is essentially an extension to the system which we've got down at, at um, the central license package. And we've got very similar um, anomalous, very similar geology, very similar host rocks, alteration, metamorphic grade, and evidence of gold. Uh, we have um, significant gold in soils anomalies, uh, high-grade areas of gold in soil down in the license package there, the, the largest of which is over 12 kilometers long, uh, and multiple sort of two to three kilometer areas of, of anomalously high uh, levels of gold in the soil sampling. So for Cameroon, we, we've we always had the idea that it has a potential to be a brand new district, a new frontier. And um, to be quite frank, every single 
exploration step we've taken in the last four years has reinforced that uh, and, and de-risked it more and more. So, um, you know, we, we are, uh, as first movers, it's obviously great for us. We, we have been able to establish our position. Uh, we've been able to pick up what we believe is the best ground, um, consolidate the best uh, areas. And, um, and we've also been able to, you know, work on delivering our relationship with, with the ministry, uh, federal government, provincial government, local communities, because we've delivered on everything we said we would do. You know, we've got local employment, we're working with the local universities, we're working to um, a lot of the um, uh, development goal um, uh, targets for ESG, uh, all the stuff that's relevant at this stage of, of early exploration. So, you know, we, we feel that the door to this new district is is absolutely opening. And by a, by being able to put out a resource like this, um, it's really kind of running the flag up to the top of the pole and saying, people, you should be looking in Cameroon. There's a lot of opportunity here. And, um, it, you know, if you want to learn more about it, come and have a chat with us. Uh, we've got a great land package and, um, you know, we, we're progressing our assets well. So uh, good news for us and good news for Cameroon, as I say. A land package the size of the M25 from memory, and uh, <laughs> it must must be tempting for you to not to, for you not to say I told you so when you've been, you've been talking about Cameroon for a while now. Let me just finish though with uh, let's look forward. We, we're sitting here in you know cold wintry England. Uh, let's take us into next year. What might be more exciting? So into New Year, uh, what field programs have you got planned uh, again in Cameroon? Well, we've we've got a fully a fully funded program uh, through to the end of the, uh, the the end of this season. The dry season usually finishes about June July, and um, we did a small raise a couple of months ago to give us a full funding through to top us up through to the end of that season. And um, the the key for us is the next um, significantly large phase is obviously going to be um, drilling in central licenses on the targets and drilling at Bibimi both at Picasso Zone 1 to extend and then fill, and at the other three prospects. But we, the, its point is bringing a, a, a drill rig in and just poking holes randomly. We need to have those holes properly targeted, which is exactly what we did in the beginning. You know, we've always progressed in a very um, methodical uh, manner through our exploration process. And so that's exactly what we have planned for this season. We are on the ground now. Um, the idea is to do some infill geophysics up at Bibimi. We did some preliminary work last year. We're going to infill that to make sure we've got the right targeting in the areas that link those four prospects together to see why they're separated. You know, what is there an offset between Lower West and Bacassi Zone 1, for example? Is it structural? Is there a, a, a deformation? Is it, has it been kinked away or has it been faulted? So we can really get our, our targeting tied up tightly at, uh, at Bibimi to progress that. And then in the central licenses, um, mapping and also geophysics down in the central licenses, because our previous work there had identified these significant um, high-grade gold in soils anomalies. Um, now, we see the outcrop, uh, so we're going to do some rock chip sampling on surface as well, but we need to then define exactly, okay, if we put a rig on the ground, whereabouts on, for example, the, the Bay anomaly, this 12, 13 kilometer long anomaly, whereabouts exactly should the first hole be to maximize success? Um, we, we took exactly this approach at Bibimi uh, when we brought the rig in uh, in March 2021. And um, it meant that our success rate on, on intersecting mineralization was extremely high. You know, we didn't come in, drill 50 holes and hit gold in 10 of them. We drilled 50 holes and hit gold in virtually all of them. Um, so we we are boots on the ground, field crews out there. West African manager Abdul is, is out on the ground, local, mobilizing our local teams, mapping, um, some rock chip sampling, geophysics. We'll coordinate all that together, both in the central licenses and at Bibimi, into a series of drill targets, and then ultimately we'll mobilize um, and carry on a program of uh, both extensional and infill up at Bacassi Zone 1, drill targeting on Bacassi Zone 2, Lower East, Lower West, and drill targeting the new anomalies uh, that we've got in the central license package. So 
a busy year, but not an expensive year, this one. But then, um, you know, hopefully delivering a lot of additional um, opportunity uh, towards the end of the dry season. Well, Tim, thanks for that update. Uh, again, congratulations on uh, on the gold resource, the first in Cameroon. And uh, thanks for giving us the uh, the quick forward look of what the, the very scientific and uh, measured programme looks like uh, for the next few months. That was Tim Livesey, Chief Executive of Oil Resources. As I said at the start of the segment, Oriels today announced its, uh, its mineral resource on the Bibimi Gold Project in Cameroon. Uh, you can find Oriel on the A market with a ticker of ORR. That's it for this edition of Blythe Ray Business News. Thanks for watching.